Hi guys, this is Sarah from the Savvy Professor, and in today's video, we'll talk about how to make a resume. Watch until the end of the video to learn more. Gather all your professional information. Preparation is key before you make a resume. It also saves time when you gather the necessary information and write it down correctly. It would be necessary to collect a list of your accomplishments from previous jobs, identify skills that match the role you're applying for, contact your references and inform them of your plan to include them in your resume, and lastly, collect all your credentials, such as educational and professional certificates. Select the right format for your resume. There are three main resume formats to choose from. The chronological resume format is used by many, as it features your work experience at the top and shows a clear career progression. On the other hand, the functional format highlights your skills and training, whereas the combined resume format mixes the features of a chronological and functional resume. It is up to you to select what style works best for you. Add your details. At this point, add an eye-catching header that'll attract your potential employers. The details include your full name, phone number, email address, link to your professional social media account, and the city and zip code. Include a resume summary. What would you want the hiring manager to know about you? Write a brief yet catchy description of your qualifications and experience. A summary will highlight your previous accomplishments and your strong points. It should be short and precise. List your work experiences. This is the most important section, as it shows your potential employer why you would qualify. You have to select roles you play that align with what you're applying for. You'll include your title, the company's name, location, period of employment, and three to five bullet points on your duties and achievements. Showcase your skills. In this section, you'll list all your hard and soft skills that qualify you for the job. It is advisable to include these skills throughout your resume, including the summary and work experience areas. Also, look out for the specific skills mentioned in the job description you're applying for and list them down. Indicate your educational background. Educational background is also an important section that shows relevance to the job you're seeking. Ensure you place your highest education qualification as the first one. Also, mention the institution, graduation year, location, and qualifications received. Proofread your resume. At this stage, review your resume and correct all the errors you may spot using software tools such as Grammarly to check your spelling and grammatical mistakes. Also, ensure you follow the formatting guidelines, including a font size of between 10 and 12 points, a professional font such as Arial, Times New Roman, or Calibri, and let it have a portrait orientation. So there you have it. Once you follow this step-by-step -step guide, you'll have made yourself a professional resume. Thanks for watching. Till next time.